cook up a special recipe tutorial series by CGA Caribbean. Today we are featuring the Constance Estate infused coconut oils and they come in three fantastic flavors, chili, lemon, and garlic. And we have a fantastic opportunity with working with a big chef here today. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you guys Chef G Markins. Sonny, you seen? Everything is Irie. Welcome yes. to our program. We're going to have a fantastic day today. But before we get into it, let me just urge you guys to make sure and check out our handles. You see them on the bottom of the screen right now. Check out our handles, go online, follow us, and stay in the know with everything that's happening with the cook up. So tell us, what are we making today? Sonny, today we have a lovely CJ inspired East Indian variety, right? We're gonna do some rice, some squash, and we're gonna do some chana masala, right? Using all three flavors of the CJ oil. All three flavors, meaning each dish has their own, own oil flavor. that they're gonna be using. Yeah. So where do we start? We're gonna start with the rice. The simplest dish is the rice, so we're gonna start with that, right? Um, we have a pot here, we're gonna just add some heat. Mm -hmm. Straight to the fire one time. I boy. mean, no, flavor. Chef, let me ask you this now. Which one out of the three oils that we have here right now you really love working with the most? I like the garlic the most. The second is the chili, but I like the garlic the most because you know, when you want something quick, like a little grilled cheese, a little something, mm -hmm. put it in the pot, put a little ciabatta, a little bread, a little cheese thing, flavor easy, quick. Now, I know we are on a little veggie tip right now, but me too, I really big on my garlic because mm -hmm. I love my steak, you know what I mean? So before I do my steak, I put on a little rub, my seasoning, whatnot, and then you paste out a little bit of infused coconut oil with mm -hmm. the garlic. Mm -hmm. Then but I, you know what? Enough about me. Let's get into some of the goodness here today. Let's go. All right, so great. You guys go and go straight into the pot. A little lemon oil, right? A tablespoon or two. You know, you wanna get the flavors coming out nicely, isn't it? Mm -hmm. right? You know, we have some ginger here, right? Put that straight into there. We're gonna let our ginger flavor infuse into as well. Yeah, right? yeah. A little bay leaf, a little clove, right? That's for the aromatics. Mm -hmm. Put a nice little pinch of salt. A there. pinch, just a pinch. Right. I don't like when you did that, though. I find you could have put a little bit. Just now. You, 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 Come, you, give me one day. Now you could have put a little bit more. You know what I mean? If you don't make, if you don't make mess. But I want to make sure get any if, if you don't make mess on the stove, then what's the point? So, right, so that done, that, that fry up and cook up all of it. Just a scraps! You, you literally gonna toss rice into a pot of oil yeah, and spices. Of course. So we don't, we don't boil the rice, we don't, we don't. No. Is this a special type of rice? This is basmati rice. Okay, okay. So you put any rice straight into the pot, and yeah. I say into the oil, everything. Yeah. Right? And we actually want the rice to get toasted in the oil because the only flavor from the ginger, etc., is going to be into the oil and then it's going to come into the rice. Wow, right? This, so this... you want that, that flavor, you want the bloom and blue soon. What, what do we do next? So here we have a cup and a half. You could use two cups of rice, depending on the size of your pot you have. And just using one part rice to two parts water. Simple ratio. Yeah. Right? This is the simplest way to make rice ever. Right? Okay. Water into the pot one time. Yeah. Right? Turn it up on high. Yep. This is, this, is, this is serious. This is some good stuff. Of course, we, we were already whipping up some goodness here. You can kind of smell it in the kitchen. It's only rice, you know, but you could swear it's like it's a whole dish being made right now. You think it's... Now, this, this is new. Cover this it down with foil, new. right? Is it... The, the, the another pot cover or something? Now nah, we have the pot cover, but... What? what, what? They stay ensure that the steam do come out, and that's how you know when to take the fire off the rice. All right, remember, it's all courtesy CGA Caribbean. We're having a fantastic time here. And all these products that you're seeing here are 100% local. You know, this is not a rule on rule of oil. You know, this, this was assembled right here in TNT. You understand what I'm saying? Now, Chef, talk to me a little bit now. Are you rice on and going? You know, talk to me. What, what, what are we doing next? What are we doing next? Right, so we're going to go straight into the squash, right? right so, what we're going to do now is mm -hmm. we're just going to put some garlic oil straight into this bowl here. Yeah, yeah. Um, how much garlic yeah, oil though? This is like about, what? No, nah, say about four tablespoons. Four of garlic tablespoons, oil. Yeah. yeah. Four tablespoons of honey as well. We're gonna put half now. And yeah. we have a little bit of fresh garlic here because although we have the garlic, but we just want a little freshness mm -hmm. in the Trini now, you know. Yeah, yeah. We, and we, pimento just for the spice. We have some cinnamon here. We're gonna add that to it as well. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And then we have some fine thyme. Yeah. Right? Just pick them up the stems a bit. Just gonna mix it up. How long are we waiting on the rice though? How long? What would be not going to be boiling and stuff? So you're seeing a little bit of steam there, you're going to wait until the foil starts to puff up. So that's why you have so, the So, 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 you, you need to look at this now. Now you're here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we just take it off. Okay. And, and that means the party so. done? I'll leave you there. Thank you. Right? We I'm just a, add another bit of salt to I'm this. I'm a sous chef today. today. What do you mean? Right? So you're going to put the squash straight into the bowl. Yeah. We're gonna take half of this seasoning mixture here, mm -hmm. right? And we're going to pour it straight on top. Half of it. Right? You wanna get more of the seasoning and less of the liquid, yeah. right? Because we're gonna re reserve some of this. Mm -hmm. 
and add the rest of the honey to it. Yeah. And this is gonna be what we're gonna glaze it with after it's finished baking. It, it, this looks like a chow boy, like, like a squash chow. Well, I, I like to add flavor in my food. So, mm -hmm. you know? I love that, I love that, I love that. And then you have a greased baking tray here, just a little oil, you know, you could use a little CJ, um, Nariel coconut oil or, yeah. or something natural and, you know, grease it up, right? Mm -hmm. Put a squash on it, right? And Sonny, I know you're smelling that flavor. Oh, hell yeah, I'm so right? smelling You're smelling the garlic. Mm -hmm. The garlic that we both like to use. Mm -hmm. right? You're smelling the honey. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to push this in the oven, right? Okay. I put the oven, set the oven to 400, 420. And then after that, I just drop it down to like 300 or so for it to slow cook. But at first, you want that sharp heat. You start to cook the flavors, make the flavors marry into the, the, the product that you're going to bake and then you lower the temperature. Alright, let's do it. Yep. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There we go. Right. There so we go. Close him up and he's good to go there. There we go. Alright, so basically we have two out of three dishes mm -hmm. more or less prepped and ready to go. Where do we go from here, chef? Come on, the table's starting to look empty right now. Uh. Nah, we're coming with the channel just now. We're coming with the channel. But first, before we do it, I'm just going to add the remaining two tablespoons of honey mm -hmm. to this mixture here. Right? As I said, that's gonna, we're going to use that to glaze the squash after it comes out of the oven. But we're mm -hmm. just going to mix it right? and set it aside. I'm actually going to let you taste this. Right? Catch money buds there. Tell me what's going on there. Watch now. A party starts in my mouth here. We're baking and we have a little cook up going on. All courtesy CGA Caribbean. Remember, as I told you guys before, check us out, follow us online, check out all our social media pages to keep in the know as to what's happening with the cook up. You see all the information right here? Look. <laughs> what are we up to right now, Chef? Talk to us. So, we're going to make some chana bindi masala. So, bindi is okra, chana is a chana. Chana bindi masala. Bindi is okro. Yeah. I did not know that all along and I am an okro man. Right, right. I didn't know that. Right, so and we're making it the masala, we're making it from scratch. We do our own curry, curry blend from scratch, making a curry paste and cooking everything in that. So now, it's all natural. Our dishes that we started with earlier on, we use our garlic infused coconut oil. Mm -hmm. We use our lemon infused coconut oil. And I see we have our chili infused yes. coconut oil rest down in front of us right now. How are we going to make this oil come together? What are we doing here? Okay, so we're going to start off. We're going to put some chili oil into the pot oh, and right. add the flavor. And then when, when you're cooking certain types of dishes, you have to really go the distance. So when you talk East Indian, you're talking spice. You know what I mean? There's no way to talk curry or East Indian dishes and they have no hint of spice in there. So of course, I'm not the biggest where the spice is concerned, but I know for a fact, East Indian dishes, I need to feel a little kick. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Some onion into the pot. Fresh onions. Fresh onions. Skim will come up, right? Yeah. Fresh garlic. Fresh garlic, yeah. What do we have here? Turmeric. Turmeric. Mm. Yes. Fresh turmeric roots, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That is quite hurdy, yeah. right? Yeah, proper thing. We yeah. are using not saffron powder, not turmeric powder. We want the fresh root, fresh yeah. paste, right? Real. Over right. here. So that would be the pimentos and yeah. um, one chili. Right? So you could use two depending on how much heat you want, but we can also get more heat out of using the chili oil. Oh. So we finish any dish, we'll finish a little bit of chili oil depending on how much heat we want. So you're going to toss in some of this now? Yeah, that's going straight in. Oh, well, straight in for now. All of it? All of it? All, all, all of it? Yeah. Some water. Yeah. Right, so next we have some spices here. Here we have some fennel, some cumin, nigella, coriander seed, clove, and cardamom seed. Right. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of stuff right Indian there. Indian spices, Indian food use a lot of spices, a lot of flavors to give you that all wrong mouth feel. Yeah, that, that sweat in your forehead kind of vibe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Like yeah. the sound of that, the sweat in your forehead yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of vibe. Nice, nice, nice. And you actually get a lot of color too. Color, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So you see fresh turmeric roots. Yeah, you, know, you see everything that's in yellow there, already, right? Okay, we have some golden raisins. So the golden raisins. Golden raisins. Right? Everything that we are making here today, all the dishes that we made here today, all courtesy CGA Caribbean. We're using our nice infused coconut oil. We have chili, we have lemon, we have garlic, and you can get this at basically almost any one of your favorite grocery stores nationwide, or maybe you can go online, www.cgacaribbean.com and get some more information. All right, this is made right here in Trinidad and Tobago and distributed to the world. So we're going to tell you some more about this a little later on, but... So Chef, how are we looking? 
Right? So you see everything looking there, you're looking inside like a little translucent, you know, the, the onion not so yeah. strong, so hard, so firm. Yeah. Right? But we have here some red bell pepper. Yeah. Right? Now you could use red bell pepper, you could use orange, you could use yellow. That would just differentiate these like the different colour in the curry paste mm. that you have. But right. I choose in red because of the coloration we want for the dish, for the end result, right? The red will melt along with the, with the yellow a little bit, I guess, like give up orange color, right? But the flavor, the purpose of this is to get the flavor. So you get the pepper flavor as well as a slight heat, but not overpowering flavor. Yeah, right. Nice, so this nice. will make the masala taste. Yeah. Right, sorry, so all that smell in there. You don't even need to put your nose in it, you're smelling it. Mm-hmm. Right? So what we're doing here is see dry, a little dry, right? Now we want this to continue to soften a little bit so we can put it in the food processor. Right? But we don't want this stick. No, we are gonna put this into the food processor. Yeah. But you can put it in a blender, you can put it in a mini chopper, a food processor, whatever you have. Because you just wanna get this to be a paste consistency. You add a little bit of water yep. in between so that it don't stick, have a little moisture, so it's easy to blend when it's going to the food processor. Nice. Right? Nice. So we're learning. We are learning, we are cooking. This is the cook up. Make sure and like, share this video, tell your friends about it. You never know who's gonna be our special guest on our next episode. Stick and stay right here, all courtesy CGA Caribbean. Hello. Right, so what we're gonna do here is we see everything is getting a little soft, a little tender. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put it in the food processor yep. because we wanna get this to a piece. Okay, so we're already in the food processor. This guy is moving. Mm hmm. Wow, wow, I'm loving the flavors that I'm getting right now. We have the pot still on, it's still hot, mm -hmm. right? We're just gonna take a little bit of oil, we're using coconut oil here, the Nariel coconut oil, not flavored, right? Put a little bit in the pot here, and that's yep. for us to actually fry up this okra. Fantastic. What we want, we just want this okra to get a little kind of fry. You know, you make it fry okra, take it sad up. Mm -hmm. We get a little crusty, yeah. a little yeah. fry, so we just want that. So we don't want to tell it too much. It's looking good there. Okra is looking nice and crusty. A little coloration on it, right? We're just going to remove that from the pot. Put it to one side. Okra coming out sizzling, you know? Yes, that will be saying. Now to the pot, we're going to add back our curry base. We may not need to use oil, right? But we're going to add back the curry base. We're going to add our channel to that now. Okay, okay. Right? So this is pre-boiled chana or you could use canned chana, whichever one you want because it's vegan, you know, you still want to have that protein aspect. So you see at this stage, take the chana, bubble up in it a little bit, the flavors marry, right? I'm going to add the okra. Mm -hmm. right? Fry okra going Fry back okra. in the dance now. Right? Add a little bit of water just to, you know, turn it up a little bit, let it simmer for a minute or two. At this stage, I will put just a pinch of salt. Yeah. Right? Just a pinch. When we finish any dish, we will taste and add salt to sweet as well. I just want to put a pinch because I haven't put any salt in the dish yet. Right. So you just put in a few curry leaves in there. You don't want to have too much though for the flavor to overpower because it have a lot of spices and aromatics and flavors. Okay. Right? Let's keep this thing going, right. man. Yeah, so man. Just a little bit of butter in this here. Right? And again, we do this more to the end. The dish is basically almost done. Right? It's smelling the curry leaf for the curry pole coming out in it there. Yeah. So we're just gonna add those two. Right? Mm -hmm. So it's a little creamy and smooth and just comes together really nicely. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we want. That's the velvetiness that the, the yogurt and the butter brings there. We're gonna add our tomatoes now. Oh hello. Right? So we add this to the end, you want the vitality to the tomato. A little crunch in it, you wanna get a fresh taste, yeah. And they yeah. say the best way to eat tomatoes is slightly warm or slightly roasted. So we put this in here so the warmness. We well warm that is our... news yeah. to me, the best way to have your tomatoes are slightly roasted or slightly warm. Wow, I didn't even know that. Yeah, it brings out the enzymes and the antioxidants in the tomato. We have some fresh bandana or shallow in here. Right. Oh, ju just a minute, chef. Come on, come on. I spoke to you about this earlier on and I realized you. Yeah, All right, yeah. come do it now. I'm not picking up. Just watch yourself a little bit. You need to get your hand in the swan position. I got taps. Teach me. Yeah? So you, 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 you swan it now. You swan it. I taps. And you need to get the you need to get the, the stuff. If it doesn't bounce off your elbow, it didn't come from anywhere. It didn't, you see? Look at that, look at that. Right? Now you at home, what you could do if you want, you want to make it spicier, you can add a little bit more chili oil. Yeah. Right? Because it has a kick to it. If you want it saltier, again you just put the salt to suit the soup mm -hmm. Right? So as I said, we're finishing now. What we're gonna actually do is take our squash out of the oven. Yeah. Because we already looked at the rice. Yeah. So the rice was good. So we're gonna take the squash out of the oven. Right? Ooh! See how that's looking there? Eh? Mm-hmm. 
I'm, I'm ready. I am ready, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for joining us right here on the cook up with Chef G Mark. Where's your truly sunny bling? And we're going to organize and clean up our cell a little bit. We're going to play that final dish to show you guys exactly what we've been working with here today. We've had a fantastic product, of course, our lemon, our chili, and our garlic infused oil, all courtesy the good folks at Coconut Growers Association. They've been around, as I told you guys before, for over 80 years fantastic ears and there's so much more than oils all right so check them out online and find out what they might have just for you you, know, you put down a fantastic dish and i'm so pleased to see our final product the layout the garnish the, the, my, my, i'm just enjoying what i am seeing here and i couldn't even imagine what my stomach is saying right now right, so yeah, we have yeah. a squash here we just mm -hmm. gonna lay down our squash here we have our chana here, chana bindi masala. Chana bindi masala. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. Have that kind of volcano finish. Yes. Look at like it rolling off the mountain top now. Oh. Have a little dressing that we made it with the honey. Okay, the okay, 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 okay. That's to go. That's to go back on the, on the, on the mm -hmm. squash, right? Yeah, so we're going to drizzle it. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, man. Wow. And Sonny, this is yours. I'm going to give you a fork. Wow. When we started on the program, guys, I told you all that food is something that you enjoy by sight and by taste. Not just the smell, of course, you enjoy our taste, but it's the sight. And th this is what I was talking about because to me, I'm, I'm, I'm really big on, I'm, I'm real big on presentation when it comes to food, you know what I mean? Because I'm a real food lover, a real food connoisseur. You know what I mean? I just love to just look, look, at, this, look, look at the plate. Hmm. You're gonna get this Steve when you know right now we're her territory, her terrain. She's a feisty little beast. <laughs> Look at her. Look at her. Mm. Oh my gosh. Look at the for sauce. Caribbean people like sauce. Mm-hmm. This push is like a kind of cinnamon plantain mm -hmm. boy. Mm -hmm. And then get any little garlic with the CJ garlic. Yeah. Yeah. And then add the nice al dente, little yeah. crunch in the things too. So yeah, see what I say about the skin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The bars not too guys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gosh boy, I really don't know you know. I love my job so much. It's a shame. Thank you, Chef, for being here. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Mm. I really want to go sit and enjoy this right now. So long and short of what I'm saying is www.cjcaribbean.com Chef G Marquez Anything, you, anything else you, you want to add to this? Yeah, you could just that check way, it yeah, out Yeah, you, you, you add to it now <laughs> Yeah, so you guys can check me out on Instagram at Chef G Marquez one Check out Sunny Blaine, you know, we'll get all the recipes for this at CJ. Check them out on Instagram as well at CJ Caribbean Right, another wrap from us here